first at 11 severe storms bringing significant impacts to the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast. Many areas slammed with high winds and heavy rain. Some of our viewers saw a lot of this outside springtime hail falling hard on homes and cars as you saw and even piling up in some places. A look at our first warning Doppler radar now still shows a few storms lingering in our area. It's not really over yet. Good evening. I'm Todd McDermott and I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. We have team, com team, team coverage tonight covering Tuesday's intense storms and the impact they had on your community. We'll begin with our chief certified meteorologist Chris Martinez tracking what's left of these storms and already looking at the next round of impact weather. Chris, let's get to it again. It's just won't quit. We got one more batch of some heavy downpours out towards western Del Rey and western Boca Raton as we speak tonight. Thank goodness the severe weather threat is done. It was done about nine o'clock and then we're just transitioning back to these just general run of the mill heavy downpours, but it is coming down pretty nicely, especially around the Hamptons back towards western sections of Del Rey. So we're talking about out towards Lions Road, Meisner Country Club, almost in towards Atlantic right there. You can see pretty decent rains just towards the west of the villages of Oriole and also out towards Kings Point. Then as we head up towards the north, this is light shower activity from Hypoluxo, Lantana, PBIA, back out towards Wellington, Loxahatchee Groves, downtown West Palm Beach, and still Still dealing with a pretty decent downpour now crossing over Palm Beach Gardens 95 in the turnpike and then points out towards the east, especially around North Palm right along PGA. So the rest of the area and the tonight looks like it'll dry out finally and quiet down for the most part. In fact, we've got about a 24 hour period. We'll start to see things really not be as active as they have been the past few days. But like I said, I'm always tracking the next system to move in. And yes, a marginal risk for isolated severe storms back in our forecast as early as Friday. So another round on the way, but we do have a day to kind of catch your breath before we track these storms right in time for the weekend. Much more in the forecast coming up, Flay.